Hi guys, how's everybody doing today? I have a new story for you. It's one that I've never read to my class in person before. And the title of the book is Ruby Finds a Worry. I'm thinking that this is a really good book to read today because I've been worried about a few things lately. And I'm thinking boys and girls that you're probably worried about a few things too. People you know, people you love are getting sick, right? because of this coronavirus. You've probably heard about it on the news. You've heard your parents talking about it. It seems like everybody is talking about it, right? And it makes us feel a little anxious. It makes us feel a little scared. That's what worrying feels like. When we worry about something, we keep thinking about it. And it's like, we just can't stop thinking about it. You may be watching your favorite cartoon and up, oh, up pops that worrisome thought and it just won't go away. You might be lying awake at night in your bed and you're thinking, I want to go to sleep, but I'm worried. I'm thinking about something. What if something happens to me? What if something happens to mom? What if something happens to my dad? Where are my teachers? Where are my classmates? What is going on? I'm worried. Well, boys and girls, we're doing everything we can to make everything better for you. Remember again, this is a new way of learning and this new way of learning help keeps us all safe. That's why you're at home and that's why you're listening to me read today. So we're going to take a look at Ruby Finds a Worry. And when we're done reading, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. And I'd like very much for you to go and talk to the grown up at your house about something that you may be worrying about. All right. Are you ready for this story? Ruby Finds a Worry. There's Ruby. You can tell by her face that something is bothering her. When you're worried, something bothers you, right? So let's find out what this little yellow thing is right there. Ruby finds a worry. And this story is written by Tom Percival. Tom Percival is the author. It does not list an illustrator. So that makes me assume that Tom Percival is the illustrator as well. Remember, the illustrator is the one that makes the pictures. So he wrote this wonderful book, and I assume that he also illustrated it. Ruby Finds a Worry. There's the character Ruby. Ruby finds a worry. Ruby loved being Ruby. She loved to swing up high and she loved to explore wild faraway places. Sometimes she even went all the way to the bottom of the garden. Ruby was perfectly happy until one day, hmm, I wonder what happened. She discovered a worry. It wasn't a very big worry. Oh, so that little yellow fuzzy thing is Ruby's worry? Hmm. Look at her face. In fact, it was so small that at first, Ruby hardly noticed it. But then the worry started to grow. Remember what I said? When we keep thinking about it, it just won't go away. And each day it got a little bit bigger. Poor Ruby. Look at her sitting in the chair with that worry sitting right next to her. That worry just wouldn't leave her alone. It was there at breakfast, staring at her over the cereal box. And it was still there at night when she brushed her teeth. Hmm. I'm going to stop reading for just a second. I want you to think about how Ruby might be able to get rid of her worry. Can you turn and talk to somebody right now and tell them really quick what your thoughts are about how she might be able to get rid of her worry?
Did you tell someone? All right, let's keep reading. Let's see if your prediction is right. The funny thing was that no one else could see Ruby's worry, not even her teacher. So Ruby pretended that she couldn't see it either. She tried to carry on as if everything was normal, but it just wasn't. The worry was always there. It was stopping her from doing the things that she loved. Boy, I'm so anxious to find out how she's going to get rid of that worry, aren't you? Ruby wondered if the worry would ever go away. What if it didn't? What if it stayed with her forever? Oh my goodness. Ruby didn't realize it, but she was doing the worst thing that you could ever do with the worry. She was worrying about it. But how do you stop worrying about a worry? Now, the worry was enormous. Enormous means huge. Enormous means gigantic. Oh my. It could barely fit in the kitchen at dinner time, and it filled up half the school bus. Remember how big a school bus is? That worry, it really was enormous. And it took up whole rows at the movie theater. The worry became the only thing that Ruby could think about, and it seemed like she would never be happy again. Poor Ruby. Oh, I can't wait to find out what's going to happen with that old worry. I want it to go away. Then one day, oh, I think we're going to find out. Something unexpected happened. Ruby noticed a boy sitting alone at the park and he looked how she felt, sad. And then she noticed something else, something hovering next to him. Could it be a worry? Oh my goodness. Mm. It was. Ruby realized that she wasn't the only one with the worry after all. Oh, so she asked the boy what was on his mind. And as he told her, the strangest thing happened. See, she realized that other people had worries too. But as the boy told her what was on his mind, the worry began to shrink. When something shrinks, it goes from big to small. So as he told her, it began to shrink. Wait a minute. Is that how worries go away? By talking about them? Let's keep reading. Then Ruby did the best thing that you could ever do if you have a worry. She talked about it. And as the words tumbled out, Ruby's worry began to shrink. Remember shrink means get small until it was barely there at all. And soon both of their worries were gone. Look at the rainbow. They're looking better, aren't they? You see the expressions on their faces? Bye-bye worries, right? Finally, Ruby felt like herself again. And of course, that wasn't the last time she ever had a worry. Everyone gets them from time to time. But now that she knew how to get rid of them,
they never hung around for long. Oh, I really like that story. Did you? Did this story help you think about what to do with your worries? Me too. So Ruby discovered that talking about her worries helped them to go away. So boys and girls, if you're feeling a little anxious today, if you're worrying about when you're going to go back to school or what's going to happen with your loved ones or when is this old nasty coronavirus going to go away, talk to somebody you love about it. I bet you'll feel better. Until next time, this is Mrs. Harrell reading to you while we're quarantined from this old nasty virus. It'll get better soon, boys and girls. Bye-bye.